Paranormal Activity 3. I don't know, I keep using both hands. That wasn't even a 3, that was a 5. Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. All right, we're back. Here we go. Paranormal Activity 3 is usually held as the best one in the series to a lot of people or the worst one. And I am inclined to agree with the worst one or mm, almost worst. This story takes place right after 2, but in a different way. It is a prequel to all of them, every single one. But at the same time, what I mean by that is it takes after 2, is that you have to know the family. As you know, Katie is now little Katie. So we get her past, her very childhood. Remember that picture in the first one? Now we get to see why that is. So you get to see her and her sister, who is the main character, or one of the main characters in the second one, deal with... Toby. You get to know who Toby is. That's the demon who keeps taking shit from everybody and possessing people. And you get to learn a little bit more in this movie. So what did I like in this movie? Well, there's some things I really love. This movie doesn't bullshit. It's not much of a build-up. We just get to the freaking scary parts about 20 minutes in. Or at least not scary, but action -y part where we don't have to just sit there and watch vacuums going back and forth. Stuff happens pretty quickly in this movie. That's a huge improvement from the first two and stuff really really happens in this movie compared to the first two like Toby picking up a girl by the hair and a bunch of other shit I don't want to spoil. I only spoiled that because it's in the trailer but there's a lot of stuff that Toby the demon the ghost whatever the fuck he is in this point is going to do. Another thing is I thought for once the side character the funny character was actually funny. It was the uh Katie's stepdad's best friend. He's the guy, the camera work man. He's actually funny in this movie and you can relate to him because he's normal, but he has the jokes and they're not stupid. So I really did enjoy his character a lot. So it's nice to have side characters is good. Also, the children are pretty good. Katie and her sister work well. Uh, they never seem too fake. They seem like little girls and they're kind of scared of this thing trying to kill them or eat them or take them away. So that was cool. So overall, it was definitely the scariest one because there was the most jump scares and also stuff happens way quicker than the other two. But what didn't work, you ask? Well, the ending. It was so fucking stupid. <sighs> this ending still annoys me. It just does. It annoys me. It's an annoying ending. I can't even spoil it, even though it's a few years old, but let's just say this. It's stupid. <laughs> it's just like, it's like building up to some magnificent and then it just flatlines and you're just like okay so are you going to explain wait why is he taking wait wait wait, wait. that's it it just ends it's an abrupt ending and so is number four which we'll get to next review but man this ending just threw me for a loop that i hated the last 15 minutes of this movie i disliked with a passion and there's nothing worse than a bad ending because it ruins the rest of the movie for you so up until this i was really enjoying it and i hate the ending so much the only other thing I could really think of that I didn't really love about this movie was the fact that it didn't want to answer too many questions. Like you sit, you think you're going to get the most questions answered because it's going back in the past, you're going to learn more about this stuff, but you really only learn little hints again, and then you're stuck with a bad ending, so that makes it that it really doesn't tell you anything. It's almost filler in a way, and that is not a good thing for a movie, so that really annoyed me. Do I think Paranormal Activity 3 is a bad movie? No, but I think it's one of the weakest ones because of the ending and also the fact that it doesn't really add much to it. Two, see, one was what it was. It was a fun little neat horror movie. Two enhanced one, which is something that not a lot of movies do, so I'm grateful it did. But then three didn't really do anything. It didn't enhance one, two, or itself with that horrible ending. So, in a, in a way, it is the worst one for me. And some people love the ending, so I can understand that. But for me, ugh, ugh. So, I'm going to have to give Paranormal Activity 3 a 2 out of 5. It's definitely the weakest one for me in the series. And it, you people are going to be surprised because they would think 4 or maybe even Mark ones is. But no, this one is definitely my weakest one. I did love that shit happens quick and all that. But everything else in this movie just kind of felt, falters and becomes... That's my new rating system. That's why I give one. I give two out of five. So if you like my video, click like. If you love me, hit subscribe. Of course, Paranormal Activity 4 reviews coming, marked ones, and then me and my wife 
are going to the premiere of Ghost Dimension, so we're definitely going to do a review the next day for you guys. So if you're liking it so far, please enjoy. And if you want to see a Saw complete collection review, let me know. My wife and I are watching them all, and I haven't even seen the last two of this franchise, so it would be a pretty fresh review. So if you want to see it for October, just... Uh, comment below, yes, I want to see that. Also, let me know what you thought of Paranormal Activity 3. Whitey out, everyone, have a good day. What? I guess, really get a fucking outro, like, like, as soon as possible. Someone make me an outro, please.